Hi Rob here, Mars Razor. Today's video is to mark a milestone of getting the proof set. Uh, here is the black version of it. it. It won't look any different than the previous one. It's just this was just to make sure that all the files were correct. I also got uh, I can show you the holder here that's holding the uh, this is 10. Um, these ones are the <clears throat> half DE blades. You can see, hopefully I won't drop it, but basically you just put your finger or your thumb here, just pop it up like that, and you can take out a, I'm going to use number 10 because I have almost a month of, month of growth here, so I'm going to use number 10, and then you just close that. I recommend doing this on the on a flat surface so you don't, they, can, they will just fly out if you don't uh, steady it, but basically if you're careful, you can just take them out. So also I'd like to show the blade snapper, which has come, and it's the latest model. It's got the extended extra length on there on the two tops. And today I'm going to use a star blade, I like the red package. Um, this is a Lord blade, uh, like shark or uh, silver. This, uh, this is the silver star. Um, there's some other ones. Big Ben, I think, is another one. So. There's quite a few of the Lord Blades, so you just put that simply in there like this, like I've shown before. Just give it a little, make sure it's going the right way, and close it. And you open it up, and inside here will be the two half blades, the two half blades, one of which I'm going to use now. Okay, so I'll just get, um, I'll just get the razor ready, and back in a second. Okay, I'm back. Just gonna show you how I load the um, the Mars up. The the latest with this handle was it had those two little there's two extra divots there, so that when you're using an injector blade, it's just easier to push them off. So this is gonna be an HDE half double edge blade that I'm using. You can take take the blade, put it on the plate, the cap on top, making sure that the thumb screw is sufficiently recessed to clear it and then you just simply tighten it up a little bit. Now I want to mention here that the original Mars needed maybe a bit more tightening or whatever. There were some issues sometimes with some of the caps coming off if uh, for various reasons like maybe pushing it up from the bottom which now there's a safety thing there you can't push it up. But it, for whatever reason, this one here now does not require uh, much of a tighten up because there's two little lugs in here which hold it down. And also it goes into it, the, the, the thumb screw itself goes into a bit of a divot. You can't, you can't pull it off. So it doesn't need much of a, just a slight, just a slug, firm but snug but not tight. So that's, uh, that's the blade and the razor. Now I'm just going to put some... Lather on, I've already lathered up and a bit of loose foam, but I'm just gonna get some of that on there. Okay, back in a minute. Okay, let's have a go with the number 10. Um, I might switch out to a number six after I've taken off the, the heavy growth and see how that goes. Okay, let's always like starting with the easy bit. Oh, that's, wow, look at that. I don't know if you can see that, but hair gone. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of hair. Look at that. Uh, Going to be some noise here. Okay, well, yeah, it's definitely going to require it's a lot of hair. Taking it off quick. Yeah, it's going to require a faster, more of it. It's cleaning out nicely. Look, it's cleaning out quite nice. Put it here, there. It's really good. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's try some of this thick stuff down here. Right now, well. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
just give it a shake, see if that works. Well, look at that. <laughs> That's working good. I mean, not that I'm really all that surprised, but this blade is nice. This Silver Star blade is good. Let's do some of this bit. That's a problem area for me. Um, where I get cut maybe, so let's try it. Well, the blade is still really good. A lot of hair. Cleans up pretty good though. Not bad, so not not bad. I got one small weeping one there, and I knit myself. This is normally where I get my cuts, but I one little one there. Not really a cut. Well, you can see it, anyways. But still, not bad for number ten. Okay, let's try. Let's try the number six. See how that goes. Put a little extra soap on there. Good enough. Let's see how it feels with the number six. Okay, let's try that. Come on, let's make sure. Oh, yeah. Now number six is, I think it's the, the first one of that is on the positive, huh, there's that weeper, on the positive um, exposure. Below that, the razor is very mild. Not bad. Okay, so that was number six. Seems to have done a good job. I'm still weak. It's still having a little weep right there. Uh, just right there. The rest of it's all, well, some hair. The rest of it's all gone. Very smooth, very smooth, very, very smooth. Yeah, very, very smooth. <laughs> that's very, very good, I'm happy with that. Okay, so that's that's been a good shave. Um, let me do the final thingy. Get some cold water on there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. So, all right, that's the shave. Turned out quite well. I did get a, a small blemish, blemish nick right there. Um, it's not too bad. Otherwise, it's turned out really smooth. Um, all over, very, very smooth. Can't feel it. It's nice. So the razor's done a good job. Number 10, I don't recommend it, if unless you got some seriously long hair to remove. Um, the number six was nice. So now I'm going to go and take some pictures of this and uh, the razor and the snapper together. Um, and hopefully this week the all the production will start. All right, have a nice uh, weekend and take care. Cheers. Bye for now.